Okay, dear friends, welcome back to part two of my Marxy Mansion, Marxy House update or rehab. The other night I worked on some of the paint issues that it had. It does not have a lot of paint issues, but I went ahead and did some cleaning on it and I decided to go ahead and do a deep dive on this house and really get it fixed up just right. So let's take a look. You'll see that I've already done some tearing apart on this house. Let's take a look at it and I'll show you where, where we are and what we're going to do next. Well, as I said, after I painted the other night, I got inspired to really do this house right. So I wasn't going to take it apart, but I've decided to take it apart. Now, here's what I did the other night. I touched up the paint on the roof. There were a couple of spots here. I have yet to put Mod Podge on that, but I have touched that up, and you can see it blends in pretty well. And there were a couple other tiny little spots I updated. But then I went ahead and took that roof completely off because I wanted to clean it, and I wanted to look at the interior. Now, the interior, as I said, this house does have the stairs in it, and I've already removed those stairs. My idea here is I will photograph that, and if anybody would like to construct stairs for their house, you should be able to print that out, put them on foam core board, and I might even make myself a set, um, and then you can put it into any house that you want. Well, probably any Marxy Mansion um, or Marxy House. Uh, which is the little bit bigger house. It's not the Marks Colonial. It's the little bit bigger house. So I flattened this out in preparation of taking pictures of that. So there'll be one picture of this. And this part folds over. This folds over. This is the little railing that goes up into the nursery. And then this folds and it becomes the back wall of the stairs. And you come around here. I'm not going to straighten this out, but I will take a series of pictures and hook them together so you can build the stairs just like that. Then there'll be um, a template or you'll be able to cut out a foam board. This pattern in order, you probably make two of them out of foam board. One to put in here, one out of foam core board. And then one on this side to support your paper steps. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm ready to photograph that, I think. I've got them cleaned up. I washed all those little steps up. There's a little bit of paint there to fix. I'll get that done and then I'll get some pictures taken. I've also taken the other walls out. Um, I wanted to clean them. Um, I want to photograph them. I think I have photographed one of these walls already. I think this one somebody missed and I took pictures already and it might already be, be available. But you can see these rooms are all in very good condition. So those have already come out. They do need to have a little bit more cleaning. I've done a quick wipe off, but I'm going to clean them good. Um, then I'm going to take it all apart. This is the, the wall that holds the, um, that the stairs go in front of. And the other side is the kitchen wall. Again, it's in really good condition. So I'll get that photographed. And then there's only one more. I say I wasn't going to take it clear apart, but I'm so close at this point that I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So the only thing that needs to come apart now is I need to uh, get this floor off. And in order to do that, this wall has to come out. Oh, I bet you can't quite see that. Let's get it down where you can see it. There you go. This wall here needs to come out. That is the nursery wall. So that needs to come out. Then this floor will come off, and I'll be able to clean that on both sides. There's no missing paint on here. It's in very good condition. The ground floor, well, I'm going to take this apart now. Um, so you guys just sit back and enjoy while I rip this apart. We'll see how it goes. Let's do a brief recap about how to get these houses apart. You have to find out where the tabs are. You need to straighten them out. This wall has two tabs going from here down into the floor. There's one that goes down right here and I've already kind of straightened it out. There's one that goes down right there and I straightened it out. And then there's two back here that I'm gonna to have to lift up. Now when you lift them up, a lot of times I'll use like a steak knife and I'll just pry under there and gently lift that up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do on those two remaining tabs and then I'm gonna pull it apart. As a reminder, when you're poking around with your knife, be careful and don't jam it down and add a scratch to your to your room or to your walls. You want to be very careful and just try to pry right there. Once you get that started, you might be able to take your uh, pointy little pliers and pry under there and lift that tab up just a little bit more. And then you should be able to slide those walls out. Thank you. 
I got it. There was a tab up here on the front I had forgotten to loosen. So there it is. That is ready to be photographed. Again, it's in good condition. No missing paint. The outside wall is good. I'm going to give this all a good cleaning, but there's no missing paint there. It's all in very nice condition. Let's see if we can get this floor out. Right now, I think there's just three things holding it. There's a tab here that's hooked down to the kitchen wall, a tab here, and a tab here. So if I can get my finger under those and lift them up, I will. If I can't, I will use my knife and carefully lift up, follow up with my pointy pliers if I need to. I got it off, and again, there's very little missing point paint. I have cleaned this a little bit, but it's going to need just a little more cleaning. There's a little bit of dirt around here. Um, no paint, no rust. It's really in nice shape. This is that opening where those stair rails come up through up into the nursery. So that's from that. Somebody, one or two of you, have asked for pictures of this. I have actually already taken those pictures. I will have those available for you. This, when I got this house, there was a little bit of a bend here, and I used my straightening method to do that, where I put a piece of hardwood floor or a board behind it, and then I hit it with a rubber hammer until that got straight. If you look at it sideways, you might be able to see there's signs of where there was a dent there at one time, but it is actually in very, very nice condition. It just needs cleaned. Love it. Okay, let's see what we've got here going on the bottom floor. The bottom floor has got one more wall left. Um, we'll see if we can get him out. I think it's hooked down through the base here. There's a couple of tabs. I'll straighten those out and then we'll get that wall out too. There, that was easy once I got those tabs straightened out. I can tell you this front tab was not even poked down through there, so that's probably why the house was just a little bit wobbly. It was not well joined. Like I said, I have done nothing with this house other than the other night I got it out and uh, was working on that ceiling a little bit, that roof. But otherwise, this house is pretty much the way I got it. I've done just a little cleaning on it, not very much. The wall, again, is in excellent shape. So now we're down to just having the three outside walls. Um, this, this outside, it's actually, I think it's like a garage wall over here, utility room wall. Um, we've got the big back wall. And then on this far side on the left, I'm not going to show you this house, is big. It's 33 inches wide. But on the far left here is the um, living room wall. And this upstairs, it's got the master bedroom. So I am going to, I think, leave these three pieces together. Um, I want to show you the floor. And then we're going to take a quick look at, at, um, at this um, garage wall. Now here is the ground floor. I know I said garage. This is more like a utility room washroom. It's got really cute graphics on the wall. The kitchen, the floor has faded. This should be kind of a pretty, uh, much of a bright red. But on mine it's orange and the front is yellow. I don't think I'll paint that, but what I might do is get a copy of a good wall and print that out and just overlay it so it will look original. Um, but that's like the only fading that I really see on this house. Here's the living room. Um, it's in good shape. Again, no scratches, no rust. Uh, right here, this is where you can see where the stairs hook in. That's where the stairs are covered up. I've done a little cleaning on this, not much, but it's in really good condition other than that kitchen floor, which will need, um, it'll need either some sort of a reflooring done on it. Okay, now let me see if I can show you this without it being too darn big. Because here is the only issue I see that I really need to deal with. Clear over here on this side along the bottom, there is a little bit of rust. Um, a little, It's dirty. It needs clean. But then there's a little rust along here. Rusty enough that it feels rough to the touch. So you know what I'm going to do on that. I'm going to get my little piece of orange sandpaper out. Sand that down until it no longer is raised. It won't really be smooth, but I'm going to sand that and attempt to not damage this cute paint up here, these tiles, and then I'll touch that up with probably just a light yellow paint and maybe through here white. Back here, it looks dark. I don't know if that will clean up or if that's going to need a little bit of paint too. But once I get that done, um, this house is going to be in excellent, excellent shape. So I'm going to work on that. You guys can watch me if you'd like. Let's clean it first. 
Um, so I can just make sure, see how much of that might be dirt and how much of it could be like rust that just might come off. And remember, I always clean first by squirting with rubbing alcohol onto my paper towel. This bottle is filled with just rubbing alcohol and put it on my paper towel and then wipe everything off. Um, that way you know you're not going to add any moisture because that rubbing alcohol will evaporate very quickly. And it won't cause any additional rust because it will evaporate so quickly. So let's clean this up as much as we can. At least give it a quick wipe off just to see how much of that actually might be dirt. And there was actually some dirt, some kind of rusty dirt, of course, on there. I'm going to do the whole thing while I'm at it. This back wall is just a little bit dirty. Um, it's got a few little, I don't know, splashes of something on it that probably probably dirty water of some sort since it looks like there was a little water back here at one time. Look, it's got its original door still attached. It's got the doorbell here, which does ring. I'm not going to turn it around right now because it's so big. Um, it's also got holes here, which means it had balances at one time that held curtains. And that's what makes me think that this house was truly a Marxie mansion and probably originally had a Florida room with it. Um, I don't know that for a fact. It didn't have that when I bought it, um, but I do think it may have had one at one time. I'm just going to wash this wall off with alcohol while I'm right here and have it handy. It's got just a little bit of dirt along here at the bottom, a little bit of a rough area again. Uh, because I don't see missing paint, I may not do anything with that. Let me get it close and you'll see what I'm kind of talking about. See, there's a, just a little bit of area there where there might have little, been a tiny bit of rust. When I get my yellow paint mixed up, I may just dab a little paint along there just because we well, might as well make it look perfect, right, when I'll have the paint all out. If that was the only thing, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, but since I'll have the yellow paint out, I think I will. And then here, there's a little bit of uh, rust and a little missing white paint. That'll be easy to touch up. I think those are the only touch-ups we're going to do on any other walls other than this uh, utility room wall and maybe back here in the very far back corner. Otherwise, I don't think there's a single thing in here I'm going to touch up or worry about. So, after I wipe this off, I'm going to wipe it. I'm going to go over it one more time with another cleaner. And that cleaner I'm using tonight is this Spray 9 cleaner that my husband recommended to me. I've got a nice big bottle of it. The other cleaner I like to use a lot is the Awesome Cleaner from Dollar Tree. So you guys sit back and relax while I wipe this down with alcohol and then go over it with that other cleaner. Okay, I think the only other thing I'm going to do tonight is go ahead and sand this down and then it will be ready to paint next time you join me. So again, I like to use a fine grit uh, sandpaper. This one is um, 180 grit. The higher the number, the finer the grit. So if you had like 200 grit, that would be even finer. I think 180 works pretty well. I'm just going to rub it along here, rub it along here. I put a little piece of scratch paper down there uh, to catch some of my rust as it comes out. Um, and then I'll wipe it off again with alcohol. Then it will be ready to paint. But I don't think I'm going to work on that tonight. I've got a couple of other projects to do in my big house. Um, but at least we'll have it ready to paint. Let's come in for a close-up. So now I have sanded that roughest part off. So although I really wouldn't say it feels smooth, I would say it feels uh, not raised up. It's not raised up with the um, rust or dirt or whatever that was, that corrosion that was on there before. So and look over here in the corner. Um, again, most of that now has, it's feeling pretty um, smooth, the same level, that corrosion's gone just a little bit of perhaps rusting along there. Um, I think we're gonna go over this with alcohol one more time and then we're gonna call it ready to paint. But I'm not gonna paint it tonight. Now since this is so low on the wall, um, I, 
I'm probably going to lose a little bit of these graphics, but I'm kind of picturing that I'm just going to fill that in with yellow. So from a distance, it will look nice. Um, if you got up close, you might see it might be missing these little lines down here where I paint. Um, if I want to do something different, I will, but I, do, I just don't think it's going to be an issue. I think it's going to look very nice when it's painted up. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've changed my mind, and really this house is not for sale. I'm just going to fix it up for my own use. I've got, I think, a, a family that's ready to move into it, but it's got to have its little rehab done first. So I'm going to wipe this off with alcohol, clean up, and call this good for the night. Come back next time, and we will paint this beauty.